gee, don't get up or anything. <gasps> Hello? Jerry. Is this Miss Geraldine Page? It is. Rip, turn that down. I can't hear. This is Joan Crawford, dear. Calling from Hollywood, California. That's Joan fucking Crawford. Jerry. Miss Crawford, how may I help you? I just want to say right up front that I was not upset. Upset? Why would you be upset? Well, the performance you were nominated for in Sweet Bird of Youth, <laughs> the faded movie queen swanning about. Oh, I think we all know who that was based on, dear. Oh, no, Miss Crawford. Mr. Williams created that role. I was just... No, I was flattered, Jerry. Really, I was. You got it so close to perfect. Although I would never date a man under 40. Not enough money to keep this lady happy. <laughs> uh-huh. What does she want? Was there something you needed, Miss Crawford? No, I just wanted to say congratulations, Jerry. I mean, with so many wonderful performances this year and only five nominations, I was so glad to see you get recognized. Thank you. Can you believe it's only two weeks away and I haven't even cut out potatoes yet? Potatoes? Those television cameras are many times more punishing than the motion picture cameras. Who's doing your gown? My gown? I hadn't really thought about my gown. Well, of course, you have many fine options out there in New York, but you'll want to be fitted here the day of. May I suggest Edith Head? Really, there's no one better, dear. I could speak to her for you. And then, if you like, I could personally help you select your jewels. Well, that is awfully generous of you, Miss Crawford, really. But I think I'm going to try and keep it simple. Don't forget, Jerry. You're representing Hollywood. I mean, this broadcast will be seen all over the world. People depend on us to brighten their ordinary lives with a little glamour. Well, if their lives depend on my glamour, I've got bad news for them. Well, it really is too stressful, isn't it, dear? Lord knows, the year I was nominated for Mildred Pierce, I was too nervous to attend. No, I stayed home and faked pneumonia. <laughs> and do you know what? They brought the Oscar to me. And in a way, it was more intimate. More of an honor. Is that what you think I should do? Stay home? Well, I could accept it for you. It's just down the road from me, and I have to be there anyway. I'll say lovely things, and you can watch from the comfort of your New York one bedroom. Sure, Miss Crawford. You are welcome to accept the award on my behalf. Really? Well, if that's what you want, <laughs> just send me a list of people to thank. Let's try to keep it to three names. Short and sweet, in my opinion, is the best. I will do that. Wonderful. All my love to you, Jerry. Miss Crawford? Well, good news. I'm not going to make you put on a tux this year. You're actually going to let that high strung show pony represent you at the Oscars? Well, she needs it. And besides, Hollywood should be forced to look at what they've done to her. 